I gotta tell you, the sheer amount of people that are upset with Bonanza has actually been insane to watch. Make sure you guys smash the little crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more Oz content. Now, I've seen a lot of conversation between my comment sections on all of the reveals, and the duality of the conversation has been these reprints suck. These cards are amazing. I'm so happy I can finally get these for older formats. I I'm sitting here, and I'm literally going, why are so many people calling these reprints dog shit? Why are people looking at Darken, a card that's, I mean, was kind of expensive um, for older formats? Why are people upset that these cards are getting these reprints out here in the 200 card slot. Now, I I will say, all right, when you're looking at the set, you gotta remember, this is two sets in one. You have the 70 slots of good cards, as we're going to call it, which are the selling point of this set, all right? That's the thing that they wanna try to entice people to get into, that's what they wanna go into, but they went one step further beyond and said, hey, we have all of these cards that aren't worth dog shit, all right? You've got cards that, you know, nobody, we, people want high rarity cards for, but people don't want to buy a product for. So their ingenious idea here was, what if we put these cards in a set and a set, all right? You have a slot where you can get one of each of these. We can take care of, you know, getting you the cards that you want without hurting the integrity of the set. You know, and we, we've done it. We've we've created the ultimate marketing situation out here. I gotta give them props for that. They did a good job. They really, really did. I think they have done one of the best things that I've seen with this. Now, I don't know why, what has caused this whole, you know, I, I think people forget that other people play this game. Like, hi, you know, I might play only really standard format right now, but I'm not going to take things away from the people that are playing Edison. I'm not going to take things away from the people that want to play Hat. I'm not going to take things away from the people that want to play Goat. This is 25 years of the game's celebration. 25 years of the game's history. Everybody out here should have the opportunity to have a chance to get some of those cards upgraded that were their favorites. You know what I mean? Like, I, I I was bouncing off the walls when I saw QCR gadgets. Like, I was actually, I still had to, still have to do a double take to this day, going, wow, they actually gave the gadgets upgrades. Yeah. Yeah, they did. And you know what? Still, to this day, that's amazing. Gores finally got its QCR. I'm excited for this. I, I think the negativity is stemming from the fact right now that the standard player, the upset one that's like, no, I don't want to spend money on cards. I can't afford this. That's fine. But the people over there that want to play Edison, want to play the cheap alternatives, why do they have to be fucked too? I don't understand that. Why is this a fuck everybody situation when you can just have everybody, everybody's getting something out of this set, all right? Why, why, why can we all just not be happy that everybody gets something like this. I, I don't care if you're going to open this product. If you're saying that this set was dog shit anyway, you aren't going to buy it anyway. It doesn't matter. All right? Like, you, uh, upgrades are important for people. And you know what? Those people that are playing older formats, there's not a gosh damn thing that stops them from enjoying this game the way that they want to because they're allowed to enjoy it. All right, and they're doing a fantastic job of it. I, I love it. All right, maybe just because they don't want to play modern era Yu-Gi-Oh, because the way that you know it's structured or something like that, but they still love Yu-Gi-Oh to the core. That's why they're over here. That's why they're playing with this. I think they're allowed to have some upgrades too. Like, that's crazy to think about out here. You know, there are cards that do need reprints. We also, I don't know if you guys saw, but Rukalos is going up for tier suddenly, all right? You've got cards that don't have reprints that are gaining value as each and every day goes. We've also got cards way back from those eras that didn't have reprints, all right? And they've been slowly reprinting them. You know, pulling the rug before it's reprint, 
that thing was kind of ridiculous, actually. Like, I think it was like, what, 10 to $15 for that? Even though, to the, to the current people that play Modern Era, they look at, you know, reprints for the older cards, and they're like, well, this is worthless. You know, I can't believe they'd reprint this. What a waste of value. That's fine. That's why Konami built this set the way they did. Konami said, hey, everybody's going to get something out here. And I just, I don't know what's so hard for this community to to understand that, you know, it just because you don't like it doesn't mean that the nostalgia collector over here in the corner or, you know, the older format player, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm going to say it. Is so much bigger. Actually, the world is so much bigger than just you. We are but one individual out here living in this. You are just one little bit of piece in the machine that is life. The decisions you make are sure, but you got to remember, all right, you are just one person, and your opinion is worth about as much as a uh, as somebody is willing to listen to it. All right. So when I when I scroll through my comment section. And I'm reading, well, this set's terrible. I'm not going to buy it. And, and then, you know, from the very same thing over here, I'm reading for medicine players and all the people going, wow, I think this is going to be the first time I'm considering buying product in a very long time, you know, to get some of these upgrades and things that, you know, I want for the game as like a celebration. We're trading, you know, one side of the equation for the other. Not every single product will be made for you. And I think that... I think that the consumer has a hard time understanding that. Um, Fuluwars, Malcharmi, Perulia, these cards will receive reprints in due time. Your anger and frustration that you have towards modern era card prices will be eventually answered and we will start to see the slash in value happen over time. And then we will have more cards released out here and then the prices on these older ones go down and the infinite cycle of power creep will continue. It's a story as old as time with this. Um, outside of that, um, watching Modern Era players discourage older players from <laughs> wanting rarity upgrades has... It's just, it's so comical to me. Like, I, I some days I get that this community is a, a, a living, breathing, you know, shark-infested ecosystem or, you know, water system out here, and I get that, you know... Everybody looks at things in such a negative light anymore that nobody in this community feels like they're happy about anything anymore. Um, and that that's fine. Like, But to the people that are actually excited about things, you don't have to ruin their day and take things away from it. This is all just morality things, man. Like, Treat others as you want to be treated yourself. If you're telling somebody their opinion's dog shit out here because they're genuinely happy about an upgrade that's something that they, for one of their favorite cards from back in the day... Holy shit, man. Like, this community needs a perspective check on things. Like, it's wild to see this. And this is all because I, I've actually, I hate to say this, but I've seen way more fights breaking out between people than there should be in this community recently over, like, just cards getting reprints. And modern era players are pissed that cards aren't cheaper, but then, you know, somebody who's like, oh, your card's already worth $10. Like, how dare you be happy that you're getting a reprint on it for it to be a dollar? Like... What in the hell is going on out here anymore? Nobody's happy. Everybody... I Actually, I think the older format players are the happiest right now, <laughs> to be honest with you. I don't see anybody complaining about Edison out here. If anything, they're rejoicing because they're getting hollow rarity upgrades. So, are you upset about Bonanza, Uwu? Are we... Are we upset because other players are getting rarity upgrades and, and modern era players aren't getting rarity upgrades and, you know, they're really bad people because they get to play their format the way that they want to and I can't have nice things, so, you know, they shouldn't either. Ooh, woo. Yeah, tell me about it down in the comment section down below. I want to hear the, these opinions and things. And I, I know I'm going to have a comment going, wow, Robbie, you know, <laughs> how dare you? Um... I'm just trying to be the voice of reason with this one because I think everybody's allowed to be happy with Bonanza giving the history foil upgrades to things because it's been 25 years in this game. I've been here for all of it. I've seen it all. I've lived it all. And I'm happy that people are getting these rarity upgrades so that they can actually enjoy the game the way that they wish to. And that's more than fine by me. You guys have a good rest of your day, all right? Patrons, thank you. Ah! <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.